If you're looking for some unique packing hacks that you won't find in other videos, then you've landed in the right place. I'm sharing 27 more packing hacks with you. And I say more because I have a video where I share 27 packing hacks, but I got so many more that I wanted to share with you that we're doing part two. Last minute sticky note. Make a list of the items that you are going to pack the day of travel. So things like a toothbrush, a phone charger, a computer charger, things that you're gonna be using leading up to your actual departure. Put that on a sticky note and put that sticky note somewhere you are going to see the morning of or the evening of your flight. So that could be on the front door, in the washroom, on the mirror, anywhere where you are guaranteed to see it so you don't forget anything. A DIY toothbrush holder. You can make one of these just using a simple laundry peg and you can hold up your toothbrush with one of these so you don't have to have it just like on a countertop in a random hotel or a hostel or wherever else where it's gonna collect bacteria you probably don't want in your mouth. Silica gel bags to prevent moisture. These things are great to just throw in your luggage to prevent your clothing from feeling damp or collecting so much moisture that it turns into like that musky smell, even mold sometimes. They're also super great to have if you are traveling with any form of technology, cameras, computers, tablets, cell phone, and you're traveling specifically to places that have a lot of humidity because humidity can damage technology. But when you combine technology with these silica gel bags, that's gonna, that's gonna protect your stuff, your very expensive stuff. They're relatively cheap. You can buy packs of like 100 on Amazon for basically nothing. You can also find these silica gel bags in food packaging, new shoe boxes, new technology boxes if you're getting a new camera or laptop. Start collecting them and keep them for future travels. DIY portable spice kit. If you're planning to stay in hostels, guest houses, Airbnbs, where you have access to a kitchen and you are planning to cook, bring some spices from home and pack them in one of those plastic pill containers. This will save you space because you won't have to bring all those spice jars with you. It will also save you money so you don't have to buy spices you already have at home while you're traveling and it will make your food taste that much more delicious. Put a herb sachet into your suitcase. This will keep your clothes smelling fresh and clean. If you don't have any herb sachets at home, you don't feel like buying them, you can always make some yourself by drying herbs. And once they're dry, pick off the leaves and the flowers, put them in a little cotton sack, and there you go. Compression packing cubes. Speaking of compression packing cubes, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, Tripped. Tripped is founded by Tim and Finn, a married duo who have been living out of backpacks and traveling the world since 2015 and are also fellow content creators. Their travel products were made based on years of firsthand experience, which is why I knew I would love them too, and I do. Gone are the days of the typical packing cubes because it is all about compression packing cubes. The compression packing cubes have these zippers that go all around the bag, mostly a couple of times, two or three times, and really compress anything that's inside of them. It allows to pack even more than you could before. They come in different colors, and they have a variety of different sizes made for different things that you want to pack. They have a dry sack, they have a hanging toiletry case. It's super easy to just stick it somewhere in your hotel or a hostel bathroom, and easy, it's easy to access everything that's in the bag, especially if you are traveling with carry-on only, which is what I aim to do for every trip. You have a limited amount of space, but you want to still pack, you know, everything you need. Compression packing cubes are the way to go. If you want to go and check out the trip to compression packing cubes, I've linked them in the description box below, so go and check them out. Use a wet sack that are typically used for diapers. To store wet bathing suits or towels, you can purchase one of those diaper bags that you can get on Amazon that are meant for diapers, reusable diapers, but you can use them for any type of wet or damp clothing and towels to prevent other things that you're gonna be packing it with from getting wet and stinky. Check your baggage allowance. Not every flight ticket includes baggage. Most of the time these days, you are paying extra to check luggage. So it is important when you are purchasing your plane ticket to make sure you're reading everything to see if it includes luggage. If it doesn't and you have to pay extra for whether that's a carry-on or a checked luggage, do it ahead of time. Do not do it when you get to the airport. I'll give you an example. I flew with Avianca and I had to pay extra to check one piece of luggage 
and I paid $50 when I was purchasing my plane ticket. I paid an extra $50 for that piece of one piece of luggage. If I were to have waited to go to the airport on my day of travel to pay for that luggage, it would have cost me $300. Toiletry skins. You can buy these bad boys off of Amazon. This is what I use. Or you can also use those silicone cupcake sheets and you just cut them into squares and place them over your liquid containers with an elastic. Or you could just trade in liquids for bars. This is especially important for those traveling carry-on only. Switch out your shampoos, your conditioners, your body lotions, your face creams, your sunscreens even for bars. I've been loving these bar shampoos and conditioners here and I will link them in the description box below. Laundry bar for stains. Cut a little tiny piece of laundry bar soap. A little goes a long way. Put it in a Ziploc bag and bring it with you. And anytime you have a stain on your clothes, you just rub that on with a little bit of water and scrub, 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 rinse, and you're good. Stain remover wipes. So instead of bringing liquids or a bar or a Tide to go, there are these wipes. They're flat because they're wipes, so they're easy to pack packing your luggage and they take up no room at all. I haven't personally used them yet, but I've heard really good things about them. I will link to a couple brands that make these in the description box below. Pack your liquids horizontally, not vertically. You can also pack some vertically and some horizontally and you're able to pack more into a bag. Use a luggage scale. Use a luggage scale to weigh your luggage before you head to the airport so you're not surprised by overweight fees which are ridiculously expensive. It's also good to have the luggage scale with you during your travels for when you come back, you know, you buy souvenirs and such to make sure, again, you are not overweight and have to pay these extra fees that are just ridiculous. Create a travel capsule wardrobe. Use a specific color palette of your choice. I like to use earth tones. When you are planning out your travel wardrobe, so that way you can mix and match your clothes and it doesn't matter what you wear with what because everything goes together. I share more about this in another packing video I did, so be sure to go and check that out. A shoe organizer for kids' outfits. Those shoe organizers that you can get on Amazon or even at the dollar store are great to have if you're traveling with small kids. Say you're going on a 12-day trip, lay out that shoe organizer on the bed and each little pocket is a day of travel. Then you fold up the shoe organizer, place it in your luggage, and when you get to your destination, you just take out the shoe organizer and hang it on the back of a door and you are good to go for the whole trip. You have everything organized and laid out. Bring extra tote bags for laundry or shopping. Talking about the ones that fold up really tiny, you can just pop them in your purse, but when you unfold them, they are pretty big. So you can use these when you're out traveling and hitting up the markets or going shopping, as well as for dirty laundry. Leave room for souvenirs. Plan ahead of time for souvenirs. If you are someone who likes to shop when you travel, then leave space in your luggage, knowing that you are going to fill that space up with items that you buy during your travels. You don't wanna overpack and then you go to your destination and you are shopping and there's, there's no room for your souvenirs. So plan ahead of time, that's key. Speaking of souvenirs and potentially overpacking, vacuum seal bags are gonna be your friend. Especially this is important if I am traveling somewhere where I know I'm gonna be buying things. On the way home, I will pack all of my clothing that I had on the trip inside a vacuum seal bag, seal it up, and it saves so much space in your luggage for all of your souvenirs. Another option is to ship items home. So if again, if you're like me and love to buy souvenirs from your travels, you can always ship those items back so you don't have to actually bring them with you in your luggage back home. Travel with a thermos instead of a water bottle. That way you can carry both hot and cold beverages. I'll link the one that I recommend in the description box below. Saran wrap jewelry organizer. Lay out your necklaces, earrings, bracelets on a sheet of saran wrap and then take another piece of saran wrap and place it on top and it will keep everything in place and prevent all of your jewelry from getting tangled up into one mess of a ball. Plastic wrap to prevent wrinkles in clothing. Place sheets of plastic wrap between each layer of clothing. It creates a barrier that reduces friction and keeps your clothes looking wrinkle-free and fresh. A binder clip cable organizer. I don't know about you, but for way too many trips, I just put all of my cables together in one bag, not very organized. I get to my destination and they would just be like so tangled, such a mess. This makeshift cable organizer keeps them from getting all tangled up as well as keeps them easily accessible. 
pack hats face down and then stuff the inside. If you want to travel with a hat, a sun hat, a baseball cap, but you don't want to wear it on the plane, but you don't want to pack it in your luggage and have it get potentially wrecked, you place your hat face down in your luggage and you stuff the inside with clothes so that it keeps its form while you're traveling. Use a sunglass case for makeup brushes. This is a great way to keep them clean and also not have them get all bent and warped when you're traveling. Another option is to use one of these, which is what I have been using lately. I'll again link in the description box below. Pack clothing that you are not afraid to part with. This has been really big for me recently. I will pack half my suitcase with some of my favorite clothing items, things that I don't want to part with, and the other half with items I don't care to part with. So like just basic t-shirts, items of clothing that I might have been wearing for years and years and I'm okay to just say goodbye to. That way when I'm in my destination shopping for souvenirs, I'm okay to get rid of the, the clothing that I don't really care too much about so that I can make space for my souvenirs. And then I'll take that clothing and donate it to somebody who could use it. And that is it for my 27 more packing hacks. Again, I wanna thank Tripped for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love their compression packing sacks and I know that you will too, so be sure to go and check them out. And if you did like this video, be sure to check out my 27 packing hacks, the first video of this series, as well as my 26 travel essentials you can buy on Amazon today. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy travels.